Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Elm Creek. Ground, the bad weather. It sounds really good. It's really, really effective. It does sound genuinely brilliant. I'm quite impressed with this. Alrighty then, I am back. It has been quite a long time since I did any recording. I have been convalescing with COVID and then we've had Christmas and so, you know, I've had a few days off. Uh, first of all, just I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and uh, New Year as well, yeah. Uh, if you don't actually celebrate either of those two, due to, because I know that there are people from countries all over the world that watch this, uh, I found out that there's something like 23, 24 different religious holidays that are celebrated between middle of November and the middle of January. So chances are, if you didn't celebrate Christmas, there's a, there's a very strong possibility that you celebrated something. So ha happy whichever holiday it was that you celebrated, and I hope that it was good. Now then, I want to just send that bad boy off to the shop a minute because I'd like to try something out. I am still a bit croaky from um, the COVID thing. COVID, I, I, basically I was ill for about a week, but um, I also then developed a bit of a chest infection, which was uh, slightly inconvenient, and that ended up with me, uh, oops, wrong one, cancel job. No. What? Oh, it oh it flicked to the other one and decided that yeah if it, it changed to this one and then yeah and and I got that wrong. Um. So yeah, I was I was kind of like I I think that I had COVID for like a, a week and then um that sort of gave me a bit of a chest infection. So then I was um out of action with a chest infection for another week after that, which wasn't great. Um, but I'm feeling fine now. Uh, mostly fine. I've still got a little bit of a cough, which is left over, so just a residual effect from the... Um, you're whizzing up through there, from, from the chest infection. But generally speaking, I am absolutely fine, and there's nothing to worry about. Right. I'm going to just quickly cultivate this little bit right here. What I'm doing with the other tractor is I'm running off, because we're only doing shallow cultivating, in theory, we should be able to roll this field, and those stones get rolled back into the field. So I want to try that out, because we haven't done anything with the roller. So I want to see what happens with the roller, and we'll see how that goes. We've got the sorghum being planted over there. I do not remember for the life of me what I said I was going to plant in this field. Excuse me. Um, I think it was, it was whatever was going to be able to be planted with sorghum, I guess. Uh, let's have a look, see what we can plant. Uh, we want to go to that one right there. We can plant pretty much anything we want. I'm not going to do sunflowers or co oats. We'll do oats. As I think that's what I said I was going to do anyway. So we're going to put oats in there. Uh, you can stop where you are. Do we want to do a bit of lime on this field? Let's have a look. We go here, crop types, and there. We see this now. I love this. We got all of this extra stuff. There I've missed several stones <laughs> by the look of it. That's that bit down there. So you can see where the stones are showing up. You can see if it's mulched. We mulched both of these fields. That was good. Uh, needs rolling. It does have a needs rolling thing coming up on there. Doesn't have it on. But that needs rolling, that's after it's been planted. So we'll go over that with the roller. That's why I've just sent a tractor over to the shop so that we can have a look at that. Fertilizer, we... Don't have fertilizer on anything yet. Oh, well, there's a little bit of fertilizer up there, but that's it. I know, if I remove the mulched bit... Ah, this is the problem, is that, like, we, we, we've got all these extra bits. Like, mulched, I, I, I don't need that on there. That's that's not helpful. Um, Needs lime. So if I get rid of that... I need to lime field 48. That's the only one that we need to lime. And... Then the fertilizer stuff, we can deal with that. Right, so if I start this one up, I'll take this cultivator and I'll put it... No, I'll just move it up here for a minute. 
So we got the stone gatherer there, but because I had the uh, lime put over the top, I couldn't see where I'd gathered stones and where I hadn't. So that's why that one is now looking like it is. So what I'm thinking is we'll deal with the stones in the field before we go dealing with the lime. I'll hitch the lime spreader in, but then we'll jump over to the other tractor and we'll see if I can get that other roller that I want to look at. So if I put you on there like that and shut you off and then I'll jump over here. That one's just finishing up that planting there and I'm here at the shop with this one. And we will have a look down through. So you've got rollers and then there is also the grassland care here, which is a different type of roller. Uh, this one, grass rollers and weeders improve the yield of your grass field. So it's specifically a grass roller though. Whereas this is not a grass roller. This is a roller you can improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. So I think you use this... We'll lease this one because um, it's two grand to lease and we've got 6,000. So we'll lease that one there. Um, I think you use the roller after planting, but I don't know about that. That's something that I'm not sure about yet. So it might be that we're supposed to go and use this one before we do the planting. And so, but at least for the stone. So th this is what I'm curious about. We'll go, we'll be able to roll that field that we've just now finished planting with sorghum or about to finish planting with sorghum and we can, oh no, it's now finished. We can test out whether or not it will squash the stones back in after the planting or whether you've got to roll the field before you plant in order to get rid of the stones and then you go back over and you roll it again after you've planted in order to be able to get the yield bonus from the planting thing. So we'll find all of this out once we get back to the yard. Right, I'm back at the yard. This field here has got no stones on it. So all of those new screens and um, layers that I was just showing you, all of this stuff here, this is all for the new update, the 1.2 update. And I actually really like this update. I think this is a really cool thing that they've done, adding in all of these extra layers and stuff. Uh, there's quite a few bits that they did add with the update, and I think they've done a really good job with it. There's a lot of, there are still a few bugs, but a lot of the worst bugs were removed, and they did stand by their word. They said they would get that first patch out before Christmas, and they were able to do it. Now, personally, I wouldn't have held it against them if they weren't able to do it. You know, I'd rather that they got the patch right, and... The thing with testing a game, you can test a game and it seems like it's fine and then you go and roll it out to a million different PC configurations and suddenly nothing works. I can't imagine the headache that is involved with having to develop and test a game. It must be abs an absolute nightmare trying to sort of get everything absolutely perfect. But they have got the, the stuff done now, so... We, we, Oh, look! Okay, that is absolutely cool. The We've done the planting in here. You can't use the stone picker after you've done the planting. I mean, that does make sense. You can't churn up the soil. But it does actually roll small stones back into the field again. So we don't need to use a stone picker. We can just roll the field. So if I flick over to this one. Actually, no, this one. We will get lime spread on this field over here then we can start planting oats so we just want to unfold this one a minute here and we want to get lime spread on this field a second like this and we'll manually do this one and then we will start this one being planted with oats and then i had another field that i wanted to plant over the other side and i can't remember what i said i was going to plant over there either uh, so we'll go over and we'll, I think maybe I was going to do more sorghum over there because this is the new crop and we haven't seen it yet and uh, yeah, and I, I just don't remember, I don't even know if I've planted it. Maybe I did already plant something on it, I'm not sure. We've got our two greenhouses over here, there's a whole load of mods that have been released since I last did some recording and one of those mods is actually a um, paint and... Um, alter terrain anywhere mod which overrides the limits against the edges of the um, 
placeables in the game, so you can actually alter the terrain properly right up against anything that you go and place down. That is the mod that I was waiting for. There is still not on the official mod hub, one released by Giants, a um, camera collision mod. Um, but I've found one anywhere, but I've already shown you that one in this series, so I don't need to show you that one again. Uh, there's a link to that on our Discord. Someone said the other day they can't find the link to Discord. It's in the description. Take a look in the description. It does say in there, in amongst all the... I know there's quite a few things that I've got in the description, but there is a link there. It's actually a link to another video. Click on that one, and then in the description to the other video, you will find the link to the Discord. The reason I did it like that is because occasionally the invites to Discord might go a bit wrong, and if I've only got one video where I've got to go back and um, change an invite link or something like that, it makes life very, very easy and simple, and there's no issues. So that's why I did that. Right. We will go to you, and... Why aren't you changing? I'm, press I'm pressing the button on my steering wheel to change the crop, and it's not doing it. Okay, that's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Ooh, I wonder. Right, you can change most of the controls in-game now. It's actually really cool. Uh, so, gamepad controls here. This is my driving force one that I've got right here. Uh, tool function three is button number 12. And then fasten, unfasten, tension belts is button number 11. So that is L3 and R3 on my steering wheel. Now, I do use those for one or two other bits. But tool function, I thought the tool function was to change the uh, seed on a vehicle. So I'm just looking to see if that does actually also come up. So you've got like dump, you've got the uh, toggle tip side. A lot of these I don't actually have buttons on my steering wheel. I use my keyboard and my steering wheel together. It makes life a lot easier. I don't have all of this stuff done. Ah, there we go, change seats. I didn't even know that was done as a separate thing. So I want that the same as the tool function. So I want to go in here and I think it's that one. Yes, 12. So that's, that's the same button that I want, and then we'll save controls. Okay, right, now let's try it. Let's try, there we go, that's better. Okay, that's basically the Y button. I have the Y button programmed in because um, there's so many different uh, useful controls for that one. So we got oats going in there, and that one we haven't done any stone picking on. We will wait until we've got the roller going, and there's a little few bits up the side there that I haven't done the sorghum. So we'll also want to go and do that. Um, let's go up here a minute and go back to this. It is sorghum. Field 45 is sorghum, and then i got oats going in up here. So I'm just going to turn off that. We're going to switch over soybeans, sorghum in here. And I'm just going to get these little triangle bits up through here, because otherwise it's really going to bug me. Pretty sure it's really going to bug some of you as well. Run this up through here. So, some of you may have noticed, I probably, by the time this video goes out, there will have been an announcement made, but just in case there isn't, because of Senlayer's health and other reasons, um, we're basically, we're not going back to doing the Minecraft stuff that we were doing, and I'm also wrapping up the... Um, Factorio series that I've been doing. The plan is, and I've been asked to do this for a very, 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 very long time. A lot of people have been asking me to do this over and over and over. The plan is for me to start doing two time lapses a week again, starting on Wednesday. And, well, I guess technically starting yesterday for you. Um, I've got my times right. So, yeah, uh, the one yesterday was the normal length, but now, from now on, the time lapse is, the, each episode is going to be slightly shorter. It's going to be roughly in the region of 12 minutes, uh, 12, 12, uh, 13, 
13-ish minutes, something like that, uh, rather than 17-ish um, minutes that it's been so far, um, so that I've definitely got time to be able to produce two per week. So there'll be one on a Wednesday, and there'll be one on a Sunday, and then there will also be Farming Simulator, the normal episodes. We've got this Elm Creek series that I'm doing at the moment, and we've also got the Hardcore series over on the Erlingrad map. Um, that's going to be the schedule for the foreseeable future. I was originally planning to stop doing the Factorio series on the 1st of January. That was sort of going to be, well, it was the 31st of December. was going to be the last one. But I missed two weeks due to the whole COVID malarkey. So there is actually, the first two weeks of January, I will still be posting some videos for Factorio while I wrap up the last two weeks of stuff that I want to do on there. And then that series will stop. Um, but I am still going to be doing the two time nuts a week. That one's going to go off there. And it's now going to plant oats. So that's the plan. That's the plan for the channel at the moment. I don't know how long it's going to continue on for. It will continue on until such time as we're able to change it. But at the moment, Sinlayer's health is not... Um, good enough that she is able to do recording with me and I don't really want to do Minecraft on my own so we decided after much discussion that maybe we would attempt the um, two time lapses a week thing again but slightly changed so they are slightly shorter it will mean that I've got a better chance of being able to stay on top of it without it getting in the way of me being able to help Sen with stuff that she needs help with um, her health, obviously, is my main and top and major priority. So, uh, yeah. We kind She is... She has made some improvements. Some things are starting to get a little bit better. But we're still not 100%. So, they're still doing more tests. They're, she's on a new course of drugs. And uh, so, things are starting to kind of improve a bit but still there is work that needs to be done so we beyond that I can't really say very much else about Sen's health I know that several people do ask um, that's all the information I can give you at the moment really is that um, she's on a new course of drugs but it's not we haven't found everything yet there are still more questions that need to be answered so more tests are being done uh, yeah, thank you very much to all the massive messages of support that we've been getting, by the way. Like, as a lot of people have been um, sending well wishes and um, nice messages for Sen and so on. And it's it's been really appreciated. It's absolutely awesome of you. Love this community. I really do. I also really love this. The stone's being rolled back in. Now, it doesn't work with the heavy cultivation. So if you do heavy cultivating, it doesn't work. Something that I found out in the time-lapse series is that if you go and plant trees, it classes those, like planting poplars, it classes it as heavy cultivation. So what I did in there, I harvested my poplars, and then I thought, right, I don't want these stones all over the field, because like there is loads of stones here. I don't really want that. I will take steps to remove it a bit. Um, we'll plough it all up and then we'll replant it. I know it seemed a bit extreme and I do know that the poplars would have just regrown by themselves but I wanted to get rid of those stones so I ploughed it all up I then went over it with the stone picker and then I started planting again and the tree planter was leaving stones everywhere and I thought oh no this isn't supposed to happen so I went and tested it off screen with the roller to see if I could maybe just roll them back in you know with the really young saplings maybe that would be all right it didn't do anything to the trees, but also it didn't actually get rid of the stones. So when you plant trees, when you plant the saplings, it digs up stones as though you're doing deep cultivation. Which is really, really not very helpful. So I'm kind of like, if you go and plant poplars in your fields, you end up with stones and like deep cultivation stones as well. And there's nothing you can do about it. They're there forever. And that's it. Right, so I've got this one here full of lime. I want to get rid of this one. I need to go and park it up somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this. I'm also not quite sure where I'm going to put 
all machinery. Like, we got loads of machines now, and I don't know what to do with them all. We, we got to find somewhere to put them. But now I'm just going to, like, park it over here somewhere. Just kind of, like, dump it here and... Okay, I really didn't mean to do that. Wrong button. Let's load that back in again. And we'll keep that in the spreader, and then I'll actually unhitch the spreader rather than empty the spreader, because I feel that that's probably a better option. And then we'll leave the spreader right here. Is that our dog gone all the way over there into the river? He wanders around a long way, doesn't he? Like, he, he, he really does travel far and wide. Let's back you up here. And go and get that pallet. Here we go. Load that one up. And then we will swing around and we get the other two pallets. So we've got that little trailer in there. That one... Oh, all the pallets now, they've changed as well. The With the 1.2 update, the pallets are a lot bigger. You get a lot more from each one. I think they're all 500 litres that come off of the greenhouse. And it's 400 litres that come off of the honey as well. Unfortunately, the downside to that is that the pallets of produce from the greenhouse on the trailer there that's got the latest update at the moment for the script for the, for the picking up the pallets um, unfortunately because of the height limit that they have for stacking the pallets you can only put the pallets too high that come from the greenhouse however if you put some if you put a layer of honey pallets down first you can have one honey pallet and then uh, two pallets that come off the greenhouses, so you can fit, you can fit those in. Um, what have we got in here? Right, I don't need to worry about any of that for a minute. And he's still doing his planting over there. We'll go and pick up some more stuff there in a minute. But what I want to do first is I want to make the most of this that we've got now. So we can do this leveling. And we can do the leveling in against the greenhouses, which is absolutely so I can just do the smoothing here, and I can smooth right up against the road. Look at this. See, I can I can blend all of the hill in over here and just make it look a little bit tidier. Uh, I am just... That is coming off the side of the road a little bit, which I guess we don't really want, so I'll bring it down this way a bit. Let's just... I don't want to really have a drop coming off the road there. So if we do it like this, there, we can do that. That's better. Look at that. Smooths it out rather nicely. At least it should. There. Right. I think that's looking a bit better. And then we can just smooth the edge around the edge of the field as well. There's nothing really that we need to do in amongst the greenhouses, but you, you can go and... Oh, there was another bit. There wasn't there. There was a bit over here around the river here. This, this, this was a bit just here. What's going on there? Uh... That... Doesn't seem quite right, Mildred. What on earth has happened there? For some reason, that's gained an extra visual on there, and it shouldn't have. Huh. Okay, I have no idea what that bit's about. I'm guessing maybe that's something to do with... Let's let's I, I tell you what let's let's go in here we want to go to construction like this and if you have a look that's yeah I'm I'm thinking that's basically just sort of saying where the tip point is for it but if I, I click on that one there lime station value nine thousand so I'm gonna sell that one we get rid of that one and then we may end up buying it back later but we won't do it just yet. 
Right, the other thing that I want to do then is I'm come down here because this was an area here where we couldn't get in close enough to the placeables that we had here to kind of like level the area down a bit. But now we can. Yeah, I can just bring that down a bit there. Like that. That's a lot better. It was a bit of a step down off the bridge, but I'm alright with that. Okay. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's 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 absolutely fine. And it looks a lot better as well. It's a lot smoother now coming up over here. That's that's brilliant. I like that. Okay, uh, you, we want to drive you back up over this way. So we're not doing anything with this field here because this is where we're going to start building some more stuff. So we'll eventually, we'll put in a new shed in here and we'll do a few other bits as well. So I'm just going to go and grab a stone picker. There's a mod that I've got for the stone picker that is it's just another one off of the mod hub. Most of the mods that I've got are off of mod hub. There's only like a couple I've got that aren't off mod hub at the moment. And that one is, I think we find it under construction actually. Production, scroll to the end here. There we go, right. Lime factory is a multi-production factory. You put all of this in, you get seed, you get uh, fertilizer. What's that then? What's the difference between those two? One's fertilizer and one's fertilizer. Oh, no, one's the additive for the cattle feed. For mixed feed, you put in the additive. I don't know what that does, though. Um, one's seed, one's fertilizer, and one's lime. So you can put in a whole load of stuff, and then you get these different ones out. Uh, there's lime production here, just on a standard stone breaker type thingy. You put stones in, you get lime out. Same with this one here, this um, factory. You, get, you put the stones in, you get lime coming out. And there's a TMR factory right there. You put in all four. So you put the grass, uh, the hay rather, straw, the mixed feed, the extra stuff, and then silage, and then you get the mixed feed. I don't know what this mixed feed extra stuff is, though. So anyway, there's, that's, that's, that's the one, mostly, was the, the stones into lime, but I don't think we need that. Um, so if you press escape, you scroll down to the bottom down here. This is your information down here. So you've got farming basics, improved yield, special crops, seasonal farming, animals, food and waste. Uh, mineral feed. I don't know what the mineral feed does. Total mixed ration is the best for cows when maximizing milk production. Tell me what uh, saplings here. It doesn't tell you anywhere that that one produces... A whole load of stones in the fields and I feel that they've misled us on that it's a, bit, it's a massive con that's what it is right so if it's not in there what does this stuff do I need to find out big bag pallets in here we've got nothing in there we've got road salt I can use road salt big bags oats pig food road salt seeds these, these are all mods here uh, so regular pallets then, top liquid fertilizers, solid fertilizer, poplar, sugarcane, tree saplings, seeds, bond silage, silage additive. With silage additives, you can increase your yield. So there's some side fight forage wagons and stuff that you can use the silage additive. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.